I kind of turn around and I, I see the guy and he's got the AK pointing up and he's so he's trying to ch charge it to load another round in and uh, I hear glass breaking you know people screaming and stuff and I kind of turn around in my seat and get low and kind of look and then my friend Alec just hits me on the shoulder and he says go get him and then that's when I got up and I sprinted at him. With the help of his friends Alec and Anthony, Airman First Class Spencer Stone tackled and disarmed a suspected terrorist, saving countless lives aboard a high-speed train headed to Paris, France, August 21st. After Airman Stone used a chokehold to neutralize the gunman, his instincts as a trained medic took over as he rushed to save the life of a fellow passenger bleeding profusely from a bullet wound. So I said, I'm a medic, I'm a medic, uh, so I'm going to take this guy and just hold him down. Um, I ran over there, took my shirt off, and then I realized the shirt wasn't going to do it, so I just stuck my finger in his neck, uh, found the, what, what I thought to be his artery, and uh, just pressed down and the bleeding completely stopped. Airman Stone's ability to react in such a heroic fashion could be credited in large part to the life-saving skills learned as a student attending the Basic Medical Technician Corman program at the Medical Education and Training Campus on JBSA Fort Sam Houston. He was one of nearly 1,100 new medics the program graduates each year. We're creating the next generation of medics. We are ensuring that our knowledge continues on. To graduate, students must be focused, willing to learn, and like Airman Stone, have the ability to act at a moment's notice, regardless of the environment or situation they find themselves in. I want them to grow to be those kind of technicians. Not day one, hopefully when they graduate from this program. The 14-week program consists of a variety of lectures, repetitive hands-on instruction, and clinical practice to ensure these medics in training can perform life-saving measures when called upon. However, we also want to make sure that our students understand that it's not just for them to deploy. You know, they can be in the commissary, the PX, or in a local mall, local grocery store, and need to assist someone. Time will tell if any of the students enrolled in the program today will be the next Airman Spencer Stone. We don't necessarily remember every student that comes in here. You don't have to be that rock star that stands out. You take the training seriously and you will go apply it in amazing ways. Yet these Air Force medics and Navy corpsmen to be learning the same basic life-saving techniques as did Ehrman Stone two years before are determined to do just that. From the 502nd Air Base Wing Public Affairs Office, I'm Tony Hurst.